When students poured out of Beller High School after the sound of gunfire last month, it was at least the second gun-related incident there this school year. On January 14th, Cesar Cortez, a senior, was shot to death by a 16-year-old classmate, say police. In October, in a separate incident, a gun went off inside a student's backpack. On January 21st, at Sharpstown High School, a student was caught with a gun, according to HISD. Almost two weeks later, February 3rd, a similar incident at Worthing. The district says while it's dealing with the students, it's also holding parents accountable. Uh, one of the things that we're doing now is if students are found in possession of a gun, uh, Chief Cordova is submitting that to the DA's office if it, it's a parent's gun, asking for them to be um, charged uh, as it relates to things. That That's interim superintendent Dr. Granita Lathan a, during an agenda uh, meeting earlier this month. The district taking action. So we asked for specifics the day after. HISD's press office told us, quote, in three of the four recent cases in which firearms were recovered on HISD campuses, district police issued citations to adults for making a firearm accessible to a minor. We wanted to learn more, so we requested the public portion of those citations. This was the first response from a district lawyer. HISD does not possess information responsive to your below request. Remember, they told us HISD police issued citations. When we asked about their contradiction, we got a second response. Quote, HISD police department officers have filed complaints with Harris County Precinct 7 Constable's Office. The HISD police department does not possess copies of the complaints and or citations. You may make a request for the documents to Harris County Precinct 7 Constable's Office which we did. Precinct 7 had no idea what we were talking about. And we checked with the DA's office as well as Houston Municipal Courts. Neither had records of charges against adults stemming from guns on campus. Twice today, I reached out to HISD again for clarification. There was no response. If HISD police are really doing something about all of this, the thousands of parents and students they serve might want to know. We are live tonight in Bel Air. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.